the first time I did an elimination diet uh, was when I entered chiropractic school and was prepping to have a kid. Um, and I thought I was a pretty healthy dude. When I did it, I had like little like lumps on my back that I thought were just like moles or something that like actually excreted pus that I'd been there for like 10 years. It's like, what the hell is that? Like my body actually started like pushing things out that it had been storing for so long that I thought it was just like a normal part of me. Um, I remember seeing the whites of my eyes wider than I'd ever been. And I came from a very sick childhood, antibiotics, like every other month I was allergic to cats and we had three cats and I just lived in an immune wreck for like 12 years and I binged alcohol and I had a lot of issues going on and I never knew what was possible until I went into an elimination and really started bringing things back one at a time. I had eczema for multiple years and used like, I'd go through a tube of hydrocortisone cream every two weeks. Um, and now I don't have it. Or if I ever get some dry skin, I look at my diet and because I've done elimination diets. I know what I'm sensitive to. So I no longer have these potential triggers in my life. I just know what I'm sensitive to. It doesn't mean I can't ever have it. I just know which ones when I choose it, there's going to be a consequence. And now I get to have an accurate conversation with myself on what I want to participate in and what I don't. But it's no longer guesswork because I've gone through the work. Uh, the motivator of this entire thing was my buddy Travis, who's kicking it in the group with us. And um, he and I were college buddies and he's a high performer and corporate executive and wanted a program that was efficient, effective, uh, knew that I did some strength training background, performance training background, and wanted a program for six months. It's something that I'm really passionate about because I build all my programs for six months. And as I'm a chiropractor and working with people, uh, we're in, intentional about the timeline of six months. And um, as we got into the development, I realized that I might have a lot of people who wanted to jump on a, to a program like this. And as I invited a lot of you folks, um, decided to jump on board and it kind of grew this entire life of its own uh, last week. And I was expecting maybe a dozen people and hundreds literally started reaching out. So this need became very apparent and uh, immediately knew that I wasn't going to be able to take it on, on my own and also did not want to assume that I am the expert in all the things it takes to be a healthy human being, especially not a ridiculously healthy human being. And uh, Claire Catterin, who works with me here at Golden Gate Chiropractic Center, she runs primary functional medicine out of the same office. And she's a nurse practitioner for the last 30 years and um, now is a certified practitioner for the Institute of Functional Medicine, which is basically the gold standard of functional medicine and a very intentional program of how to detox your body, reconnect to the bigness of total health. And um, I felt like trying to do this program with one arm until she came on board. And now I feel very confident we're going to be able to provide an incredible experience. Um, much better than uh, it's creating a Zoom call without <laughs> automatically admitting. So there's going to be people here who aren't going to be able to come on board, but I'm not going to spend the whole time trying to reach into the group. I'm just going to talk to you guys. Um, and so the, the, yeah, the details of the program will walk you through. This is like very bare bones, um, PowerPoint presentation that we'll take you on. So I'll just start talking about the why for me. Um, and as we go, we'll dive in, um, particularly why now and, uh, the COVID obvious stressor in our lives has just taken up bandwidth and, um, Anyone who was on the brink of something is now experiencing that something. And because of the pressure cooker that this, this environment has provided, we're seeing what are our coping mechanisms? What are our adaptability and resilience strategies? Are we actually healthy or were we feeling that way until a stressor came up and just showed us what we were really made of? Um, particularly here in California from a detox pathway um, issue, like wanting to really get clean, we're breathing all of California's air, which is just blazing with fire and toxins. And this is like the third year in a row that we've been on fire and having to go through this. And um, every two weeks, your lungs regenerate on a superficial level, but it takes a whole year for them to heal. So I feel like for the last three years, my lungs haven't fully healed from the trauma. Um, my kids got some asthmatic looking stuff and he's sensitive and I'm just very aware of how intense it is that we have very healthy lifestyles and that we are detoxing all the way through. And also what 
patterns am I showing my kids from a eating, moving, thinking, recuperating? Um, I'm going to be passing on all of my habits, my decisions, the foods I'm eating, my kids are eating, the ways that I'm moving, they are mimicking. When it comes to living in a stressful environment, how I cope to that stress is going to be emulated by my children. And in a world of uncertainty, I don't want to take the chance that they're going to be taking on the traumas of this time or the fires or whatever foods that I'm coping to my stress by eating. I want to push the complete reset button. I want to take 2020 and say, thank you for the most challenging year. And I'm going to finish strong and get a running start for 2021. I want to look into next year and already know that I'm going to feel healthier than I've felt in years. I also had a two-year-old who turned to today. So I feel like I'm seeing light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to getting sleep on a regular basis. <laughs> All the things that I know contribute to health. Uh, and I'm also taking a deep dive with Claire, doing my labs to find out what are my personal needs and reaching out to the community with you guys because it's not just a solo journey that I'm going to be on. I feel like my wife and I have been pretty insular when it comes to how we take care of ourselves, but we also feel limited in how much we can accomplish as opposed to when we open it up and we bring our community on board and we're all getting better and serving each other from across the globe because I know some people are coming from Oz and from New Zealand and East Coast U.S., um, we're all going to be dealing with independent stressors, but there's a theme amongst it. And can we be resilient to the stress? Can we bounce back, have adaptability and get better so that the people that we care about who may lean on us for inspiration, whether that's patients in our chiropractic practice or the kids that are watching me at home, finding our why and doing it now, because this is when the world needs us to show up both for ourselves and for the people that we're serving. Uh, you know, looking at it from a functional medicine point of view is the whole issue of why now detoxification is, is going to be, if it has not for almost everybody, is a time where we need to be detoxing. We need to be not only just detoxing our bodies, but looking to strive to de-stress and using stress, de-stress de and activities. I think you guys are all on board. I think most of you guys are mostly Lance's Cairo friends, right? So you're already got a pretty well advanced idea of what health is and where you're going. Um, but we can't escape the toxins that we're under now. We can't, ex it can't ex escape the stress. So these programs I think are incredible and uh, now is the time. Awesome. Cool. So the big pieces of this are, um, Twofold. There is a destination. People want to be ridiculously healthy. They want to feel in control of their lives. They want to know that they can pull the levers of science and make themselves healthy through a predictable evidence-based program. Uh, and they don't just want to skip it and get there as much as we all would love the quick fix of like, oh, let me just get there and be healthy. We all know that for it to be sustainable, we have to go through the process and the rigorous time it takes to build the habits to move forward through life. And so building this six month program, it's all about quality of life. So we'll be starting off with questionnaires, talking about what are your self-care habits now? What are you currently doing? Are you tracking that? Are you tracking it monthly? You probably know what you're supposed to be doing, but how often are you doing it? Maybe there's so many options. How do you choose the right one for you right now? And one of the ways you measure whether it's right for you is how is your quality of life right now? As you're trying to get healthy, are you enjoying the process? And even when it gets challenging, are you finding enjoyment and fulfillment in overcoming those challenges? Or are you just slogging away at a 21 day challenge that makes you miserable as hell? So that on day 22, it's just like gorge, forget that even happened and completely dive back and rebound into old habits. I think with the six month program, it's going to be way more sustainable quality of life and habits that we're building. Yeah, I also think like with quality of life, a lot of times we slip into this like we're all the frogs in the hot water and we, you know, we get by. So we get by, we get by. And it's kind of like if you're a chiropractor, you know how bodies self-adjust into oblivion. They just kind of self-adjust and self-adjust, self-adjust. And you don't ever really know that you're kind of walking this way, you know, because it's just done that. And I think uh, from a functional medicine point of view, we're all in that point. I mean, we're all at a point where yeah, I feel good. I'm all right. I'm okay. Yeah, I can get there. But it's just incremental coming on down. And I think what we're going to be doing 
what I do every day with a lot of the people that I see and in my life is really kind of taking lands on that journey to completely clean out, not only just on what we're going to show you, but to get your life. So where you're like, wow, I didn't know that I could feel so good. Cause I think we all go down that slippery path where you're just all of a sudden you're like, wow, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just another aspect of quality of life. Yeah. And for me, I've done a lot of uh, training programs in my career. And one of the ways that um, I got pushed into chiropractic was recognizing that I've worked with the best of the best in sports. I was with the Olympic silver medalist China judo team that I trained leading up to London. I was with USA water polo back to back gold medals. And I would watch these athletes retire and the next year be depressed or retire and have identity crisis, go through divorce on drugs and in bad places. And it was never this fulfillment path that it was leading toward the next thing. And so now when I hear an athlete or a person ask me like, hey, I just wanna get big pecs. You know, my question is why? How does that take you toward the life trajectory that's worth living? If it's, you know, I think the person who I want to be with likes pecs, then yeah, get the pecs. But remember that it's not about the pec, it's about getting the partnership so you can build the life you want. And if you wire it together in that way, it's a more holistic view. And that way we can meet people where they are by getting strength and mobility and flexibility. But why do we need those things? Because eventually I want to be able to play with my kids. Because I think if I'm healthy and big, I feel confident when I'm confident. I communicate better. That helps me with sales, which drives revenue, which builds quality life for my family. Always thinking about the big picture and where we're going is inherently a part of a six-month program because you will have the ups and downs of the road of success. Not road to success, but a successful journey is what we're trying to build. So through the exercise training and movement program that we're building, this is getting 10% outside your comfort zone because it's not going to look the same for you as it is the D1 All-American or the person who's never moved a day in their life intentionally. They've just done whatever aerobic TV commercial was on at 2 a.m. You know, it's now what do you how do you have the capacity to do now? What do you know how to do and how do you push yourself 10% outside your comfort zone? And that's where my program design is, is very dialed in is I can meet someone where they have easy movement patterns or moderate or difficult advanced movement patterns. And I can design a program that helps them take themselves 10% outside their comfort zone. And if you keep 10% outside your comfort zone over a six month period, that's when you start to hit these cycles of neuroplastic change and muscle development and connective tissue cycling that your body completely transforms into something that you wouldn't have expected on a, a 21 day challenge. Um, when it comes to the program design, it's pushing and pulling upper and lower, it's core directional, and it's in pushing with flexibility, core stability, muscle gain, fat loss, it's, it's everything in one. And so it's not gonna be just 21 days of push-ups or 21 days squat challenge, it's literally an intentional science-based Let's push your body in certain directions that balance in other directions during the week. Let's have one day that's intense and another day that's recovery. And then after three weeks, let's change what the programming is to trick your brain and then start moving in different patterns, which accesses different muscle fibers. So we completely maximize the different adaptations you can be going through throughout the program. For the diet, nutrition, and, and detox, um, bringing Claire on, I think, was probably my smartest move for this. And uh, she can go into more details on what journey she'd be walking us all through. The Institute for Functional Medicine, which is where you know I got my functional medicine degree, really has all kinds of um, outlines for what we call food plans. And in this program, we decided to do a core food plan an elimination food plan and a detox and then a re-entry. So what that is entails is getting people from a standard American diet to a core food plan. And that's all laid out. We do that for about two to three weeks just to get people a little bit clean. Then you go into an elimination and it's all spelled out. It's already the people who sign on these, the, uh, the programs are gonna be sent to you. The elimination diet just takes your, uh, it starts eliminating the foods that are 
most harmful for most people, dairy, wheat, um, sugar, alcohol, things like that. And you go through an elimination diet and, or an, elim an elimination plan for about four weeks. We do that for 28 days because by doing that, we decrease our, our immune responses to foods which may be harming us. And then, and then we go through a detox because we're doing this with Lance. We're doing, we're kind of doing the functional medicine program with Lance, and I'm taking him through the whole, the whole program. Um, but nutrition, as you know, you can, you can do a lot with just a, assuming a very healthy nutritional, you know, protocol. So uh, what you see on the slide is remove what's harming you, replace what you need, re-inoculate. Uh, to help with the healthy mi gut microbiome, repair the gut when needed. If you're in the smaller group, there's two groups. One's going to be do it yourself. If you're going to do a private group, we can actually zero in on people's gut health a little more closely. And then we rebalance. And rebalance it's in functional medicine is everything. It's de-stressing. It's the meditation. It's the exercise programs. It's the body movement, bringing oxygen to the tissues. It's everything. Because in functional medicine, everything is connected to everything, and we're best when we work together and we bring bring community together. So. Cool. So breath work, meditation, mindfulness. Uh, I think everyone in this group has uh, had some significant experience with that, um, knowing who's here. And uh, I've already recorded three or four different breath work sessions and uh, mindfulness meditations and some guided meditations and. Um, you know, we'll be dropping in different resources and, and everything there too. Uh, that will be a, a daily practice, you know, and for us, none of this is going to be, you have to do it every single day or you have to drop out of the program. It's more like if you're doing it every day, you're going to have the maximum benefit. And so we'll just provide the resources available for you to do that. Um, and as people have questions, they want to take it deeper. You know, similarly, it's 10% outside your comfort zone. That's not just for the movement but that will be for the diet and the nutrition and that will be for the meditation and the mindfulness and, and the breath work sessions. You go as far as you are willing to go in that moment. And if you have the space in your life to go really deep and we're doing breath work sessions that I'm giving you that are uh, kind of designed to be a daily drip, uh, but you're looking for something a little more deep dive, I'm happy to record something that's a little more intense or more inviting for you to be intense um, and those are, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes holotropic breathing or a lot of the sessions I have are incorporating Wim Hof style breath retention holds and deep diaphragmatic breaths. All of that is meant to bring you into a state that removes your physical body as an interference pattern. So you can drop into deeper states of your mind. And once you are there, you can be processing emotional stuff. You can be thinking with clarity about what you want to do for a day or you can take a longer period of time and really try to experience an altered state of consciousness, which gives you a different perspective on your reality, which then may give you new insights, new strategies, new ideas of how to move through your day. And this has been a very powerful influence on my life. And uh, another reason why this program I think is going to be powerful is the people who are here are those who have had some exposure to that and are open to the possibilities of it. Uh, when it comes to guided sessions, uh, I do think when we have our live weekly calls, not every single week, but there will be opportunities for people to experience a live breathwork session. Uh, we've been doing live sessions here as part of our lunch and learn programs in San Francisco. It's been successful. So I'm more comfortable now leading them through Zoom calls. Um, I just never had people that I had to automatically let them into the group. So next time that'll be all good. Um, Riffs and research, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out because breathwork has become so popular. So we'll just be building that in as we gather for this group. You know, this will be a co-creative experience where we are going to take a step forward and then ask the group, how was that step that we took? And as we take steps, we'll be taking better and better steps because this is something that uh, we have lived this life. And now we want to be building it in a way that others can experience what a six month journey can be. I did my first complete detox elimination diet revamp right before I had my first child. So that was five years ago because I wanted to completely clean myself out before I gave basically my genes to my kid. So I wanted to give him the healthiest chance from what I could contribute as a nature perspective 
and then spend the rest of my life developing myself so I could be contributing in a nurture perspective. And now it's been five years, my other kids too, and I'm, I'm ready to reset again so I could start nurturing them and showing them what it takes to actually be healthy so they can see my habits day in and day out. And the community aspect, this is, um, this is why you're here. The only reason that you know about this is because we have shared in community. And so you know, have the power of it. And from the conversations I've had one-on-one -on -one in the last few days, um, the number one thing I'm hearing is accountability. And I know what I'm supposed to do, but I know there's way too many options and I can't choose the right one. And I have done it. I have even done the detoxes. I have done the challenges. I have done it all. But when I get to the end of it, it's not like I'm there to celebrate with anybody else. The days that are really hard are not enjoyable because I'm not feeling like I'm in solidarity with other people who are going through that challenge. And it just brings so much more fulfillment when we have people in a group who are doing it together. And we find more fulfillment doing that as well. It's part of the reason I'm going to be doing the program alongside you guys is I want to feel what we're all feeling. Uh, and not just be in the, the leadership role. I want to actually be in the trenches with you. And, and in the trenches, I think, is where we really learn what we're made of. So the next six months, we'll be going through reflection periods every week in these live Zoom calls. Uh, I know there are people in multiple time zones throughout the world, which I'm really in love with. Because, you know, if you're not living in California right now, you don't know what the weather's like and what we're breathing. And wherever you are in the world, we don't know what local stresses and environmental changes are happening with you that might be influencing your perspective and your ability to adapt and build resilience. And so showing up and showing how we all adapt in different ways to different stressors, it's just a, a deeper perspective, another pixel to the screen of what humanity is dealing with. And it allows us to be better facilitators for the people in our families and our communities because we have a broader perspective and connection to those who are not just going through stress, but intentionally trying to show up and overcome these challenges in a group setting, learning how to communicate with themselves and their partners. Because that's a part of the functional medicine perspective as well, is your relationships at home are not separate from this program. Because if you're doing everything perfectly as an individual, but then you go home and you're just an asshole to everyone that you love, that is a massive gap. And so how do we also come in to this group and bring what are the stressors in my life? How do I reflect on how I can show up in my life a little bit better? And then we get creative and reflect on that with each other and actually get creative on strategies, offering suggestions and help and accountability. And then also having a structured program that we is like the scaffolding upon which we can build this experience together. Well, in functional medicine, at least at the IFM, we're really moving towards group visits because people learn from people and it's so much more beneficial than a one-on-one. -on -one. So obviously I think it's kind of clear that if you are in a group, you're gonna be, you're gonna be held more accountable, but you also learn from each other and it's much, you have such bandwidth and such more breadth work from other people coming in and lending their perspectives. This is what moves the dial. I mean, community groups move the dial when it comes to healing. And I think it will be very exciting if a bunch of people, or we get at least a small group of people doing this, the group, to see how this will manifest in six months and how much further that's going to take you to your resolve and your behavioral changing abilities. You, just like what Lance was saying, you can go through your 21 day detox and then you go out for, you know, whatever it is, a margarita or, you know, dessert or whatever that, you know, you just wolf down and you're done. It's not really, we need life. We need to change our lifestyles. And in order to change the lifestyles and get the behaviors working, we do it together. And um, I think community is essential. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but I was doing like every other month, I was doing a 21 day challenge. I was calling it the Golden Gate Lifestyle Challenge. I did it for like a solid year, the year that my second son was born, because I knew this was going to be a really stressful year. And the 21 day challenges were amazing when I did them. And in between, because I knew I'd have another one the next month, the week and a half off, I was just destroying myself <laughs> and even though I was super healthy every other month like 
in between, it was just, it was a wreck and it wasn't sustainable. And I was just seeing how good I was getting at cycling on and also turning back off. And now recognizing that I don't want my kids to take that on. I don't want that habit to be passed down. Um, having community is what holds me accountable to know like this is a longer path. Seeing other people who are willing to put in the work over the long haul to me is it's the community that I also want to be building and cultivating. And like she said, it's a bit of an experiment because we're, this is the first time we're going to be building the framework upon which we're going to be communicating and sharing resources and getting feedback on it. What's too much, what's too little. Um, it's also why we're really excited to do the small group because, you know, usually we'll work with one-on-one -on -one, yeah. um, and it's a ridiculous, predictable result that we get. Um, but it's really expensive for people in the city. You know, number one, you have to fly to the city to work with me hands-on. Um, and people have to be here in, for her physical and all of that stuff um, to be able to build a hybrid model where it's not just the internet and all the resources you could ever wish for and all the choices and options you could ever wish for, but where's the structure um, and, and then not the one-on-one -on -one that takes you know, $10,000 to work with both of us for six months or having to fly and take a six-month chunk out of life to be here immersed in it. What is the hybrid? How do we marry the two? Um, and that's what we're excited to be doing here. So uh, overall, like program details, just to try to lay it all out, um, you know, we're going to start with tests. We're going to look at movement wise, like push-ups is a good upper body test. Squats is a good lower body test just to get a baseline. If you want to be building strength, then we would be doing some estimated one rep max testing. If you're just wanting to build general health, we probably do like a push-up or squat deep test just to see what your endurance and your capacity is. Um, quality of life is really important. So we'd start off with some questionnaires and be doing those monthly to track your quality of life throughout the program as well. Um, do you want to talk about the MSQ a little bit? Well, in my practice, I use MSQs as an objective viewpoint on how people are doing because you come in and you you fill out your intake questionnaire and then a month later you've completely forgotten where you were at a month ago and you're so I use them to back to back to see how people are doing because uh, it, it's very telling it's objective it's not so much subjective and then for the people uh, here in the small group which is what we're, we're, we're hoping we get people to, to sign up for we can I will send them out every month and you can send them back and then we track them we can actually track it on a uh, uh, a pretty graph on a graph <laughs> and then you know that all gets sent to you guys but then if you want to talk about it in group you can yeah uh, for those interested in body comp um, body fat percentage whether you know uh, I know someone has already gotten calipers and they're ready to start pinching themselves and, and tracking size and mass changes um, having a scale can be helpful there's lots of different ways. You can go bod pod, you can go with a tank dunk, or you can do calipers at home, you can do um, electronic impedance and just track it and that can help you get more accurate. Uh, showing progress is the most important unless you really are competing. Um, part of this program I just confirmed today, uh, Dr. Reva Robinson is a functional medicine medical doctor bodybuilder. Um, and she's allowed me to schedule with her every Friday for 30 minutes so that anyone who's really focusing on body sculpting for this program, I'll just have her on Fridays so that if there's any questions that I can't answer for myself regarding specifically like really dialing in fat loss and muscle gain, uh, she had, she's the fifth, she got fifth in nationals in bodybuilding for natural bodybuilding and uh, highly trusted functional medicine bodybuilder. So um, we have her as a resource to help with that kind of stuff a BIA machine. and a BIA for anyone who wants to come to San Francisco, <laughs> um, exercise program. All my exercises will have three options. So those that are basically beginning, just you're maybe nervous, not confident as you move and you don't want to push it and hurt yourself 10% outside of your comfort zone. Then there'll be moderate, basically just, um, in between beginner and advanced and lots of modifications in between if it's ever not perfect for you. And then the advanced, what I think would be uh, requiring some coordination, ability to protect yourself and have intra-abdominal pressure so you don't overload any of your dynamic structures. Um, and then videos as we build this, as we find out what the program is dialed in and gonna be, um, I already have what I think is gonna be month one. So videos are gonna be available for those. 
timers and sets and reps and rest and all that stuff detailed into a spreadsheet that you can see. Um, and if it's confusing in any way, I'm happy to make sure you guys feel clear. Because again, we're going to be building this program in a way that can be replicated in the future. And so part of why we're so gung ho about like jump in with us now, because this is going to be the closest it's going to be to a one on one experience. And we're so vested in building it that we're going to if it's not near perfect for you, we're going to be making the time to help you experience it in a near perfect way. The months that go on from a nutrition perspective, um, the core food plan for the first month, basically to, well, you, you'd be able to describe this way better than me. Yeah, so the core food plan, like I kind of already said, the core, the core food plan is a very basic uh, Mediterranean style food plan. Oh, it's all spelled out for you. It's really quite easy to be there. So the idea is we basically take people from a standard American diet into a clean diet and we go organic and we go clean. And then from once you're kind of you know, your body's a little bit calibrated with that, you've kind of gotten rid of the worst offenders. Then you go into, you're kind of priming yourself for an elimination diet or an elimination plan. I don't like the word diet. So for the plan, the elimination plan gives yourself 28 days because if there's any foods that you're eating, you need that time for IgG antibodies to really come down. That's the minimum amount of time. Once those antibodies come down and you start then after we do that, you're kind of, hopefully if you're having any problems with any kind of inflammation, they start to, starts to come down. And then from the elimination diet, we move into the detox. So it's going to be two months of fairly intensive, uh, you know, work. We're going to be working for those two months and people need support. Some of the hardest behaviors to change are food habit behaviors. And they're very difficult to change. And this is another reason why community is just, I feel like it's the answer because it's really where we can get a lot of support and make some lifetime behavioral changes. And then after you go through the detoxification, then you start adding your foods back. And that's another month of, you know, soft pedaling how you're doing. And at the same time, we're doing all the other lifestyle stuff, but that's, and then for the, the next two months is trying to really make sure that the behaviors that you've kind of dialed in on and how good you really felt at the end of that detox, you're like, damn, I am ridiculously healthy, right? I mean, it's just like you think you're healthy now, but you don't know until you really go through a program that you're like, Jesus, I'm, I'm really goddamn healthy here, right? I mean, you just, <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So I know probably, some of you have probably already gone through it, but we want to take that and we want to move it forward. We want to move it so that you take it throughout your life. So that's the whole nutritional part. Yeah, the, the first time I did an elimination diet uh, was when I entered chiropractic school and was prepping to have a kid. Um, and I thought I was a pretty healthy dude. When I did it, I had like little like lumps on my back that I thought were just like moles or something that like actually excreted pus that I'd been there for like 10 years. It was like, what the hell is that? Like my body actually started like pushing things out that it had been storing for so long that I thought it was just like a normal part of me. Um, I remember seeing the whites of my eyes wider than I'd ever been. And I came from a very sick childhood, antibiotics like every other month. I was allergic to cats and we had three cats and I just lived in an immune wreck for like 12 years. And I binged alcohol and I had a lot of issues going on. And I never knew what was possible until I went into an elimination and really started bringing things back one at a time. I had eczema for multiple years and used like, I'd go through a tube of hydrocortisone cream every two weeks um, and now I don't have it. Or if I ever get some dry skin, I look at my diet because I've done elimination diets, I know what I'm sensitive to. So I no longer have these potential triggers in my life. I just know what I'm sensitive to. It doesn't mean I can't ever have it. I just know which ones when I choose it, there's going to be a consequence. And now I get to have an accurate conversation with myself on what I want to participate in and what I don't. But it's no longer guesswork because I've gone through the work. It's been five years since I've done it. A lot has changed for me. And now I want to get that clarity again, which is why I'm going in. So the whole thing is, is that if you haven't gone through an elimination and a detox, I really highly encourage you to do this because I don't think you've realized that whole point where you don't realize how sick you are until you get clean. And the goal here is to do exactly what Lance was talking about. It's like, when I eat those certain foods, I know I'm gonna have a certain reaction. 
So it's getting into that, like that's how you live. It's not just, oh, I'm gonna do this for a month and get healthy and then go back. This is a lifestyle and it, you incorporate it and you just, and you know, then you get to be my age and beyond and you're like, wow, you know, I never, I'm healthier now than I was when I was 20. I mean, it's, it's, it's real. And I think I'll, you just hear the story from people who've gone through this over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. And then breath work, movement meditations, there will be videos, there will be guided sessions. And then the lessons is a really cool um, thing. Claire has actually taught classes that she charges for on the weekends. Um, she's going to be taking those lessons and including that in this. So brain health, um, redefining your health, um, mastering your sleep, details of a detox, the gut microbiome, um, stress, anxiety, the adrenal gland complex, like these are really deep complex topics that she simplifies into a 20 minute, 30 minute lecture. Um, and those will be released within the program as well. Just so you can actually have some more education that's not typically just available in a simple way. And it'll be more in the context of this program. So it will be more catered towards you and what you're actually going through. Uh, so three tracks, basically. Um, there's the one-on-one, -on -one, which probably is not realistic. We just throw it in there for context. <laughs> the DIY, which is what uh, some people have been interested in. I don't know if anyone in this call is actually interested in that, but it is, it's what to do. Um, and you just take the PDFs, you take the programs, and you go do it on your own. Then there's the hybrid group where we'll be actually walking you through it and helping you troubleshoot. Um, so this is the big, like, wow, it would cost $8,000 to fly to San Francisco and work with us. That's not realistic for most people. Um, this is the DIY. So if anyone does want to just like, give me the questionnaires, give me the six month exercise program. That's basically general. You'd have the three options. Um, give me the core food plan, the 28 day elimination diet and the 28 day detox. I want the videos for mobility and the breath work and the meditations, and I'll just do them on my own. I want the lessons that Claire is talking about. Um, and we will just give that all to you basically in a Google drive folder. Um, and you could have it and it would just be 190. And that basically just covers like Claire's membership to the IFM for a month. <laughs> uh, but it's still helpful for you guys to get that and then give us feedback. So that's why we want to include it because we also understand there's chiropractors out there who basically know what to do, but they need to fine tune it a little bit. Um, and that's, we're happy to help in this way. Those that will only take, take action if they can do it on their own and fit, fit it into their life and they can't predict a weekly live call. It's not gonna be for everybody right now. Um, there is value in it. Personally, I've done a lot of DIY programs and they're sitting in my Google Drive folder and not being used. So we'll offer it for people and we will also offer to help them more when they need the help. So we hope they succeed if they do it on their own. And then this is the, the big like kahuna. It's the big thing we're trying to promote. It's the transition and what we think is actually the answer for healthcare in general because healthcare costs are ridiculously out of, out of reach for most people if they're paying cash and insurance covers the rest of it. And there's this entire complex that's just not a healthy, sustainable model either. We feel like this meets people in the middle. Um, and so it is the programs, it is the PDFs, it is the videos, the lessons. Uh, the most important aspect of this is this will have weekly one hour sessions where Claire and I are here and we are doing like case studies. So who this week is going to be the primary focus of the week? What are you dealing with? What have been your wins, your challenges, your strategies to overcome those challenges? What resources or requests do you have for us, the practitioners and for the group to help you overcome those strategies? We'll have breakouts. We'll get much better at Zoom and do some practice runs on how to like take the group and partner up, have in individual reflection periods. If there only ends up being five people in the group, then we'll just stay in one group probably. But if there ends up being 10 or 15 or whatnot, we'll try to make it more intimate. Um, I know connection, real connection is a need for the community and we want to foster that. So we don't want this to be a group of 100 where just now it's a Zoom smorgasbord we want to create that actual connection where you are getting to express your individual experience, get someone to reflectively listen to you so you can hear your own words and then get to work through what challenges you have and learn from it and grow. And in the group, we'll be talking about like this week, here's the program. For me, I would be saying, here's where this program gets a little sticky. Literally in the squat, you're going to have a sticking point and you have to stick at that extra second 
here is me walking through the program for the next week, talking about the details or answering questions about what 3-1-1 means on a spreadsheet with all these exercises, where someone with a DIY, they'd have to read the fine print and figure that out for themselves in, in the small group. It's just like, hey, what does that mean? Here's the answer, let's move on. It just accelerates the learning curve of the entire experience. Yeah, and if, and if uh, people don't want to bring themselves up as, you know, like guinea pigs in a group, we'll just use Lance. Yeah. Because Lance is going through this, <laughs> and so we're going to be discussing Lance's case. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it's there. I, I think it's a, I think it's a beautiful, it's, I think it's a beautiful, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not experience, but opportunity. An opportunity for people to bring up what they want to talk about, say, and we'll be going through a lot where you might need help, particularly, like I said, around this whole nutritional thing. And, you know, just what's going on with the meditation and what's happening with the lifestyle stuff and maybe with the workouts, you're like, hey, Lance, I want you to look at me while I'm doing this. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. this is, it's like an opportunity to kind of have us kind of on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not a one-on-one, -on -one. you know, it, that's different. That's going to be hands-on, but this is one of the best that we could do in a group situation. And if people are a little shy, we're not going to be putting you, we're not going to say, okay, you have to be here. You know, we're going to do your case. That's not it. Uh, but because I think we'll have plenty of to do and to talk with, uh, with yeah. Lance. I, I've already done my intake with her and a lot of stuff came up from my history that I'm actually excited to process. And um, whether you want it or not, if you jump in this group, I'll probably be expressing all over you. And uh, I, I do want to, I want to heal some stuff that I've had in my life and use what I know and rely on Claire and Reva's experience and expertise to help me foster this. And so far, those that are in the group and here, I trust you guys. And I'm really excited to, to go there with you. And, um, and also, you know, it doesn't stop in the group because if I'm going to be participating too, I might be reaching out with private messages and like actually having one-on-ones because it's real connection. You know, it's not just let's pretend like it's community because that's community is a buzzword. It's like, nah, like I want to heal. I need community and support to do it. Um, and a lot of you have been through some pretty amazing, intense experiences like at KTC stuff or Travis, you and I have done our stuff. Like, um, you know, we've, we've shared with vulnerability and we've seen what's, what happens when you do that. And I think if we could start making that more acceptable in the general population, then as an individual group, as this community comes together and we work on ourselves, we get comfortable sharing what's happening and what has happened and know that we all have a past and we all have traumas. We need to heal it and express it through so we can adapt a new way. We're going to have so, we're going to have a world full of people who have been traumatized by this experience right now. Toxic, mask breathing, disconnected people who will have trauma that they don't even realize is trauma, tension in their bodies and toxins in their, in their minds and bodies that they'll need to work through. And I think if we can start bringing communities of people together and being okay to heal in front of one another, we're going to be impacting the world in the way that it needs to be impacted. You know, when a living system is in ill health, the only cure is more connection to itself. And our world has become drastically disconnected during this last year. And I think I am willing to step in and show what's really happening underneath the hood and, and let people see me and my process because I know that's what other people are going to need to see is actually, yeah, I'm dealing with some shit too. And I don't want to carry this on personally because it's going to ruin my life. And then I'm going to have all the people who are emulating me or looking to me for leadership end up emulating those habits and it just becomes a contagion or we stop the pattern, we pattern interrupt and we start shining light within, sharing that light with each other and then inviting others to have that same experience. That's what this six months will be is just breadcrumbs of health and healing for a freaking hungry ass community and world. So thanks for even being on this Zoom call. Yeah. <laughs> um, Any questions? Yeah, so that's that's what's up. Is that it? Is that it? Um, so next steps. If you want to do this program, it's nine ninety five for the small group. Um, for us, we're not in a massive hurry to just make this happen. And I don't know if anybody was trying to get in on this Zoom call that couldn't make it in, and they really want this. So uh, I think like open enrollment for the next week. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So for the next week, we'll just continue to have conversations, answer questions. You can reach out. 
Um, the goal, this is to begin this week. So I will say Tuesday, on Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard is when we'll have our first weekly live call. Um, and oh, you're gonna be there. I will be there. Claire won't be there because um, she'll be at a wedding. I'm at my nephew's wedding. So Weddings are happening, which yeah, is wonderful. So. Uh, but 2, 2 p.m. on Thursday, Pacific Standard, I will be there. That will be our first live call. That is, by then, we will be wanting people to have made their commitment, um, paid via Venmo if you're in the U.S. probably, and transfer-wise or something if you're in Australia or New Zealand. We'll work it all out. Um, but ask your questions. What have you learned from this Zoom? What questions came up for you? What do you need to see or don't want to see if you're going to do it? Um, is there anyone else you want to bring in now that you've heard this? How can we serve you? We're trying to build this in a way that is near perfect and getting better every time that we engage. So um, that's it. I love you guys. Um, if you want to be unmuted to ask a question, I think you could do that. I'm seeing buttons come up that say ask to unmute. Um, but if no one has any questions or anything, then we're good to go. I'll give you three seconds to do something that makes something pop onto my screen that gives me an easy button to push. <laughs> okay, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Um, feel free to reach out privately. I'll probably send some follow-up stuff in any of the email things we've been doing. Um, stay tuned. And if you are ready to go, just let me know also. And Thursday, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will be on a Zoom link, probably this same link, um, and you'll probably be automatically let into the group the next time that we do this. Love you guys. Have a wonderful night. Peace out.